Hey you guys, uh, my name is Travis. I work for Fonte Coffee Roasters. I'm going to show you how to make a cold brew coffee. We love cold brew. It's great in the summertime. Uh, we sell a ton of it here at, at, at our flagship cafe in downtown Seattle. Um, we're going to use Portofino, which is a blend of three different Indonesian farms we source from. Uh, it makes a really nice, rich, low acid, earthy, kind of smoky, tobacco-y uh, uh, cold brew. It's, it's pretty wonderful. So these are all the tools and utensils we need to brew cold brew. Coffee, number one. Uh, you need a vessel, a bucket. Um, my bucket right here has a nice little spigot. Uh, makes it easier for later. Um, you're going to need uh, a cloth mesh filter. Because we double filter and double strain all of our all of our cold brew, but you don't have to do this. Uh, we just we like it better. It creates a little bit less fines in the finished product. And then uh, a paper filter, and then a wooden spoon. All right, now we need to grind the coffee. Make sure the coffee is decently fresh. So. The one thing you need to look for is coarseness of grind. So this is our French press grind. Uh, it's it's going to be some of the most coarse grind that you can do. So uh, it extracts better over a longer period of time. All right, so now we're about to, to make the cold brew itself. So we have our two filters, our mesh and our paper filter that are in place. Uh, now all we do is just pour the coffee, pound the coffee per gallon of water. But we don't need to put the whole gallon in right now. Uh, we just need to kind of saturate all the grounds and kind of create a sludge. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water in. And I'm going to take my wooden spoon. And I'm going to create some sludge. You just want to make sure all all these, uh, this one pound of grounds are all saturated with water. Maybe add a little bit more water. Exactly what we want. So sludgy, kind of muddy consistency. All the grounds are saturated. Now we can add more coffee. Another gallon of water. Saturate all that coffee. Make sure none of it's dry. Once it's all saturated, then we're going to add the rest of our water. So we've added about a gallon so far, and so it's two pounds of coffee, so we need to add one more gallon now that all the, uh, all the coffee is saturated. Kind of re-saturate all the grounds. And make sure you use kind of cold to room temperature water. If you use hot water, it'll actually start uh, steaming. It'll start the brewing process. You want to cold So now we're just going to tie our bag up and about to set it and forget it. So I'll come 12 hours later. We're just going to set this room temperature just on the counter. 12 hours later, I'm going to come and uh, pull it up. So now this next step is actually the easiest but the most important um, because uh, cold brew has a lifespan. Uh, so we need to keep it refrigerated after steeping. So now that we've, we've uh, brewed it for 12 hours, now we need to put it in the refrigerator and keep it there until it's done. You have about seven to 10 days to use the cold brew before uh, it, it is past its lifespan. So just refrigerate it. Hey you guys, thanks for joining us today. Uh, now you know how to brew the perfect cold brew. So I hope you enjoy all summer long. So much.